What's going on everyone? Yesterday is another tour review and yes, the man that stands in front of you is the one and only Otaha, also known as Karis. Now this particular character comes from an epic anime, which is an OVA two-part series. If you've never seen it before, you can definitely check it out on YouTube. They should have both of them on there. I know one should be either subbed and one should be dubbed. Either or, you can watch it. Now, this review is going to be pretty damn good because, one, welcome to the new year of 2018. So everybody that actually been checking out my reviews from back last year and the year before that, thank you. And anybody new to the page, thank you for coming and checking out the review. Also, this figure here was an early birthday gift last year to me from a good friend. I must say again, thank you for this masterpiece of a toy. Uh, I must say, if you've never seen this figure before, now I'm going to give you the full once over of how this figure, uh, you know, why is it so damn great and sought after. So, blowing past all of that, I must say, Max Factory did a hell of a job. Yes, Max Factory not Max Factory Figma. This is actually, since it's one of the older toy lines, this is when Max Factory was just Max Factory. So, one of the figures that you might know of, which is the Guyver Bio Fighter Collection line, this came a little bit after that. Now, the thing about this figure, all the flaws that the Guyver figure had, he pretty much knocked all of that bullshit out of the park, and they just made an outstanding figure. Now, sadly enough, the reason why this figure is so rare as well is because he is the beginning and the end of his particular toy line from Max Factory. He came and he went. So he was going to be a special line from under them, which was pretty much going to be like their impeccable line or a high-end line, which I was told by the person that actually gave me this. And uh, if they would have kept this going, this definitely would have been something to look towards. So it's kind of sad that they didn't get to go forward and get funded more for their toys because like I said this toy right here packs a heavy punch so beyond all that as always let's go ahead and look at a full 360 of good old Kairos as for details you can see that he's all black but he does have highlights here and there he has a little bit of a dark uh, red color throughout the body somewhere around the line, a little bit of gold trim as well so it kind of makes him pop or not even gold, a little bit of silver more so than anything, gold on the belt obviously, a little bit of red jewel right there, blue eyes and even have a little bit of red in the helmet here's a side view and like I said, they put so much detail into this figure really really nicely done figure Alright, let me turn him around. And the reason why I have the figure pushed so far back is because I actually have an all new camera with equipment and I have a fixed lens and anybody that doesn't know what a fixed lens is, that doesn't allow me to zoom up so I'm going to have to get another lens so that way I can uh, focus a little bit closer to the figures when I start doing reviews again or more often rather so hopefully that be soon but I will say the glass on this particular lens is much more crisp so even though I'm shooting him from a further distance you should be able to see the details perfectly fine alright so that is the once over Kyra stands about seven and a half inches tall here is Max Factory Figma repainted guts. And here is SH Figure Arts Apocalypse Zero. Alright. Move them out of the way. Now, Kairos does come with quite a bit. And I must say, all of his accessories, what I do like, I don't feel like I was hit with a bunch of uh, repeats, which is great. So, he's going to get a stand. Because the Biofighter Collection, when it came out, or at least with the figures that I own from the Biofighter Collection, they came with nice size stands. And he comes with a pretty huge fucking stand. You know, which can obviously cover his whole body. Comes with a metal rod. That goes directly into the stand and holds him up. Does he need it? No. 
the toy actually balances great right off the back on its own. He's going to get a pair of ball fish you can see. He's going to get a set of open hands. See if I can focus for y'all real quick. There you go. So you get some open hands. They're scooped it really nice. Have some blue highlights in there as well to kind of give the fingers that nice separation and make the metal look like metal. He's going to get a nice expression hand. He'll get two of those as well, right and left. Really nicely done. He's going to get sword holding hands. Also nicely scoped it. He's going to get an extra head with red eyes this time. Same exact head, just red eyes. And it's when he go into a particular mode. I'm sorry that I don't know the mode. Uh, I wasn't big on Kairos, but I really digged his uh, design. So he was definitely uh, something dope for to actually own, regardless if I was really close to the anime or not. I just thought it was a fucking sweet toy. You're going to get a compact version of his sword. Nicely detailed there. The back is kind of bland, but it does have a little bit of gold trim going through it. You're going to receive his sword in the sheath, which can also be taken out. So I can get y'all a good view. There you go. Really nicely detailed, real chain on both ends. Sword is easily removed. go you're going to get an expanded version of his sword and I believe this happens when his uh, extra head comes into play with the red eyes which is really nicely done it even have like a purple highlight to it which you can kind of see when the light hits it it's like a transparent dark purple and you're gonna get an extra chest piece which is also really nicely done. This can give him the ability to hold his sword with two hands and it works extremely well. So pulling off sword posing it's not a problem at all which I will show you as I go through the review. So that is all of his accessories. Now as for articulation this figure has slight hindrance in certain areas but I will say for his size uh, toys to be honest with you is kinda sad um, Toys have still not captured the level of what this figure can actually do. And this is old as hell versus stuff that we just now kind of getting that's starting somewhat to actually give us great posability. This figure already had it and it's old as hell. So that just tells you once again like it's sad that this figure wasn't able to continue on uh, just due to how dope it really could have been. So, as for his head, it goes about that far down, which from a side view, it's about that far, which is not much. His hair really can't go back due to his armor, actually kind of prevents that. So, it just pretty really resets his head back to just being forward. His head is on a ball joint, so you can tilt it a little bit here and there, depending on how you're posing them. Uh, he can rotate. It is kind of restricted just due to this little piece of hair that you see sticking out or it's like feathers. Supposed to be like hair though. Um, the feathers that come in from under his helmet. Let me stand them up a little bit better. That's coming outside of his helmet is actually soft rubber. Uh, so since it's soft rubber, uh, the friction between the plastic and that actually kind of gives a little bit of stick. So it can move it just takes a little bit to actually rotate the head but I'll show you so you get about that much rotation but you can spin his head all the way around as for changing his head it's pretty simple you just pull it off and then you can just pop the other one on like so and it's changed out now what's really nice all of this just works so he has soft arm pads which does not prevent 
any type of hindrance whatsoever. Now, if you remember the old Giver Biofighter collection line, one thing that was super annoying about the Giver, his actual arm pads were extremely shitty. It was just on a, a real smooth joint, and it just kind of like capped around it, and it did really awful. This actually has some notches in both sides of the uh, arm pads itself, so it's locked on there pretty tight. You don't got to worry about nothing coming off at all. These can move, so the arm can actually work. So when you actually lift the arm all the way up like so, nothing is hindered. The arm can go out to the side like so. Once again, nothing is hindered. Uh, everything is pretty much on a hinge. So his arms are on hinges and on door hinges. So he can tilt his arm across his body like so. And if you put that other chest piece on, which I'll show you real quick. This is just tabbed in by some rubber pieces. So you just pull it off. That way you can actually see. A little ball joint there two little ball joints on the side there and you just literally just pop it right into place so let me go ahead and put that up under there all right and just like so now he can even cross his arm to the other side of his shoulder like I said really really great articulation now, his bicep has a swivel in it. He can rotate right below the bicep as well, but it's kind of no purpose to do it, but you can do it. So that's nice to have that little bit of extra push. His arm bends completely up. So you don't got to worry about no problem there. And these little pieces or the spikes on his arm, these are pegged in, they're very firm, they don't fall out, which is really nice. Uh, mind you, just to let you know, this toy was opened, right? And this should tell you right there how dope this toy is. For this toy to be open and displayed, between my boy taking care of it, he did pose this toy, and nothing got loose, nothing feels like it's going to fall apart. This is a really, really sturdy figure, like extremely sturdy. So going down, down to the abdomen, or abdomen rather, you can actually do rotation, a little bit of ab crunch going on. You can go back as well. You can do a rotation at the base of the waist. Only problem is it does get kind of hard to do due to the belt. So most of your rotation is at the upper half. Now going down to his legs, they kick out about that far, which is really nicely done. Can't really go back due to the scoped butt cheek. Kind of prevents that. All right. Out to the sides. You get about that much range. All right. He does have a swivel at the thigh, the upper thigh. He has double hinge knees, which work really great. The joint is well hidden. Really well though. Going down to the foot. This just works great. So like, see if I can make sure I'm in focus. Alright, so you can, that much, got a toe band in there. You have a crazy amount of pivot. Going inwards and outwards. More inwards than outwards. So, like I said, this figure is just dope. Uh, on the back, his little bird claw which also comes separate from the body that's on a ball joint so you can actually just pop this in like so don't mind my demon possess dryer or washer rather but this is how his sword is held on. The cool part is too, even if you wanted him to hold his sword, you can see that he can reach back there without a problem. So, when I say you can really do any type of pose you want with this figure, you can and there is no issues. It's just really, really done well. Uh, balance on this figure is great. Let's see if I can hit a pose real quick for y'all.
like I said, the figure is extremely well done. So that is my review of good old Kairos. So for anybody that actually wished and was, wasn't was able to actually see this toy in all of his glory on video, thank you for coming through and checking this out. Because hopefully I gave you the insight of this very rare figure. And I must say, like, old as this figure is, um, some of the digits they're asking for on, on eBay is just utterly ridiculous. Uh, but I would say at the most, if I had to pay for this figure, I can honestly say four to five I can do and can honestly look back and say, hey, I got something extremely rare and extremely dope. So if you can get a hold of this figure, I definitely say go for it. It's probably some of the best shit I've actually seen. And I had got this gift a long time ago from a friend, from another friend that used to work at Anchor Bay back in the day. Well, I don't know if he still does, but he actually gave me a Kairos pocket watch. So now I got two things to go with one another. So that was pretty dope. But that is my review. And, uh, excuse me, hope you actually enjoyed it. And once again, thank you. And welcome to the new year. Hope to see y'all come back. Have quite a bit of stuff to review. Uh, I got a, I got a lot of shit. A lot of, well, not a whole lot, but enough, enough gems out there. So, once again, continue to collect, and thank you for coming through. Y'all take care.